Good morning, Huskies. Today is Wednesday, October 30th. I'm Alexandra. And I'm Lydia. Recognizing Red Ribbon Week, please stand for our nation's pledge. My name is Bethany Hamilton. I'm 22 years old and I'm from Kauai, Hawaii. I started surfing um, technically when I was in my mom's womb. So I mean I've always just grew up at the beach hanging out, surfing and doing little fun contests and yeah I just loved it. <laughs> At 13, I finished second in the under-18 nationals, which is like the biggest competition for under-18 amateur surfing, and um, so that was a huge result. From that point, I was like, kind of like, okay, this girl means business. Like, I was like heading towards the pro tour. Like, I was gonna be a pro surfer. And, and then that next fall is when I lost my arm and it was like, whoa. It was a gorgeous day in Hawaii and I went surfing with my best friend Alana and her dad and brother and um, the water was just perfect glassy blue ocean and the waves were kind of small but just wanted to get wet and um, just hanging out there waiting for waves and all of a sudden a shark came from nowhere, I didn't see anything and just took my arm and like that and um, from that point I just focused on surviving and you know my friends were there by my side helping me get to the beach. Kind of crazy to see how that turn of event like has changed my life dramatically but at the same time I'm still a professional surfer today living the dream I've always wanted to and accomplishing more than I ever dreamed of. <laughs> A lot of the good surfers that I grew up surfing with and um, that were my age, um, some of them did choose to do drugs and for me it wasn't really a hard decision not to because I saw the negative effect it had on them. One particular girl who I really looked up to, she's an amazing surfer and she chose to get into this drug scene and she lost it. She just. I still see her every now and then and my heart just breaks just knowing that she was so talented. She was that one that like I wanted to surf like her and I saw her just um, lose that love and passion and um, natural ability. From what I've seen it's like I see people start with weed and you know, they almost become like a slave to it and you see them kind of lose their drive in life. Like they just kind of get stuck in a rut of like just smoking weed and just kind of living it day by day and spending all their money on that, wasting their money, wasting their life. And then they eventually get bored with weed and a lot of times end up dabbling with other drugs and then it just goes downhill from there and just so unappealing to me. Yeah, you know, we 
all go through hard times in our life and you know it might not necessarily be losing your arm to a shark maybe it just struggles in school or family issues or whatever it is um, don't give up like just find your passions and your joys and things that motivate you and inspire you to live a full life and shoot for those and keep pushing forward towards the light at the end of the tunnel and rather than giving up. I'm Bethany Hamilton and my natural highs are surfing, hanging with friends, family, um, my love for God, living a healthy lifestyle and just smiling. The spookiest dance of the year is almost here. Our annual Halloween dance, Dancing with the Dead, Will take place will take place tomorrow Halloween tickets are on sale for five dollars cash during during both lunches at the Husky Hut don't forget to bring your ID with you and don't wait because tickets will not be sold the day of the dance come enjoy the best lights and sounds from DJ Mays the scariest haunted hallway in town for just one dollar per entry free carnival games our fantastic photo booth and concessions for sale from our PTA all available to those students who purchase a dance ticket. The last day to purchase a ticket is during lunch tomorrow, so don't wait until the last minute to purchase your ticket, because this dance is the spookiest of the year, and you do not want to miss it. The day of the dance, your zero period teacher will be handing out wristbands to all of you who purchased the ticket. Please put this wristband on immediately and do not lose it, as it is your ticket to the dance, the haunted hallway, and the various games at the event. Directly after school, the day of the dance, make sure you drop off your backpack in the 200s quad next to your grade level sign. Grab your phone and money and head straight to the dance. If you did not purchase a dance ticket, you will not be allowed within the event area. The always popular Haunted Hallway line gets extremely long, so if you are interested in going in, make sure you get in the line as soon as possible and have the correct amount of change to enter, $1. Haunted Hallway rules are as the follows. Nothing will touch you, therefore you should not touch anything at any time. That means keep your hands to yourself. If you do, you will be removed from the hall and not allowed to go back inside. No electronic devices are allowed in the hall for any reason. Therefore, you may not use your phone to take pictures, videos, or use as a flashlight. If you do, you will be removed from the hall and not allowed to go back inside. Adult supervision will be inside the hall watching the entire time. If you want to go back for another scary trip through the hall, simply get back in the line. You are welcome to go through as many times as you like, so as long as you are following the hall rules. We hope you enjoy one of the best dances of the year and the scariest hall in El Cajon. Don't forget to help us celebrate Red Ribbon Week by participating in our weekly dress up days. Today is walk in the shoes of your hero. Come dressed as, your, as a historical figure or someone you look up to. Thursday, take a walk on the wild side. Walk the halls of Hillzo in the crazy costume of your choice. Come join us at the Halloween dance, Haunted Hallway, after school. And Friday is Take a Ride on the Internet, Super Highway Day. Dress up as your favorite meme, help us celebrate Red Ribbon Week, Huskies, say no to drugs, and show your school spirit by dressing up as dressing up the other days. Hey runners, Run Club is canceled tomorrow, Thursday, October 31st. Remember, the TEDx meeting is on November 5th. A big congratulations goes out to October student and staff winners. For 6th grade, Ms. Demiglio. For 7th grade, Coach Swiggles. For 8th grade, Mrs. Farias. And our staff winner is Mr. Bill, our custodian. Please join us at the Top Dog Party during your lunch in the ASB room on Friday. Congratulations. The cross country meet is for today, for today, October 30th. It has been canceled. Details for our party will be announced soon on Google Classroom. Before we go, we want to admit wish Miss Gadian and Miss Mason a happy birthday. Today's their birthday. Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Now over to our special guest. Hey everybody, Miss Ewing here. Just a couple of quick reminders about Halloween costumes. 
Uh, we want to make sure that everyone has the most fun and the most safe day on Thursday. So please make sure your costume is appropriate for school. Um, that includes costumes, no weapons, um, as well as no face paint. That means zero, zilch, nada, no face paint. We have to be able to see your beautiful smiling face all day. Um, if you have any questions about your costume, please stop by the office and see an AP and make sure that um, your costume is appropriate so you can have the most fun tomorrow. Thank you.